What's up? What's happening? All right, up. Back once again. <laughs> yeah, I ain't seen these. I wish I would have brought these out a little bit earlier, but it's all good. You know, I feel like talking about money. You know, that's why I wore the money green one. Or not even money. I'm just on some business talk right now. That's why I got the shark up right now. But, you know, I'm just feeling some type of way, you know. Um, I'm, like, really getting tired of people, like, not understanding their positions. You know, like, at the end of the day, everybody can't be a boss. You know, if everybody was a boss, businesses wouldn't be able to be productive, you know, because you need people that are going to work. Now, I've never had the worker bee syndrome, but you need worker bees, and that's just reality. But at the same time, in order for things to work, sometimes some people may have to just bring themselves down and work for someone in order to gain that success to get to the point where they're trying to get at. And I'll give you an example, like, you know, a lot of people listen to what motivational speakers say. Steve Harvey, he had a real good one. Say you had to take that he had to take that leap of faith, you know, to get to where he wanted to be at. And he had to just cut everything else off, whether it was working a nine to five or whatever. And that's cool, I get it. But I don't think everybody else gets it. Like, at the end of the day, you can't just quit a job if you already don't have things established and lined up, especially nowadays, if you have bills, you got a mortgage, you got kids that you got to provide for. Nowadays, the average family is a single family, you know, so it's one income coming in. So it's like, you can't really just be taking no leap of faith and just saying, oh yeah, I'm just going to make it happen. And you ain't really got no plan. Put your plan down. It doesn't take nothing away from you if you have to work a job. Use that job to fund whatever it is that you're trying to do. There's nothing wrong with working a nine to five job. Don't get it twisted though. I hate it. Don't get it twisted. I hate working a nine to five job. And I've probably had about at least about a good 20, 27, about 27,000 jobs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and all of them were terrible. And I'll get to that one day. You know, I'll break it down to y'all, but I'm going to keep it short. But anyways, it's like, you know, sometimes you got to play that position. And you just got to work. Stack that money up. Put it towards whatever you're trying to do. Because what you don't want to do is just say, oh, yeah, I'm taking that leap of faith. Forget a job. I'm not working. I'm not working for nobody else. And then you go out here and your plan is really not well put together. You know, um, and then when you start moving and because you're going to come across some 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 losses, you're going to take some losses because you're going to be trying to figure things out. You know what I mean? And what you can't. Well, I don't know what people's situation is, but what you don't want to do is you jump out there and then you can't take on those losses and you didn't prepare for that. And then now you got to try and go back to a job. It's like just humble yourself and just uh, do what it is that you got to do. And when the time is right, through prayer meditation, whatever, you definitely know when it's time for you to move on and do your own thing. So, you know, I'm rooting for anybody. Like I said, I'm an underdog. I root for all the underdogs. You know what I mean? March Madness, we root for the underdog. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, People just need to know what that really means and really understand it deeply, you know? And then you got the other people that really need to understand that sometimes you got to play that position and work for others until you can build yourself up to do your own thing. Some people aren't built to be in charge. 
But it seems like now that's the new wave. Everybody wants to be in charge until they really get to see what it means to be in charge. When you got other people's livelihoods in your hand and things ain't going right and it's shaky, you can't shake and break down like this person may. You got to hold, stand strong and make it happen. These people rely on you. You, you, you taking care of their families. You, you're you their livelihood. You know what I mean? And so I think a lot more people need to really understand that. Sounds good to say I'm a business shark. I'm a boss. I'm this. But understand what that boss means. Understand what it means to be in charge. Understand what it means to, to, to be that boss. You know what I mean? Not just to call yourself a boss, but understand the significance of it. You know what I mean? And I think a lot more people will go further. You know? Don't just be so quick to just say I'm a boss and I'm, 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 I'm in charge and this and that. Because that's not what it's about. You know what I mean? It's about doing for your people first. And then taking care of yourself. When you're a boss... Everyone around you, you make sure that they're good and then you're good. And if you do it correctly, you will never have to worry about if you're going to be good or not. You understand? So that's just my influence to pain, you know, my influence rant. But I was just feeling some type of way and I wanted to share that. So hopefully y'all take heed, you know, smoke a cigar, put your suit on. You know, maybe one day y'all see me in a suit. I don't dress up for nobody unless I'm going to a black tie affair or a real significant place of business. Other than that, I be on my Zuckerberg. I wear my flip flops. I wear my scully. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can't judge me because I look a certain way. You can't take this away though. Always remember that. Just because you wear a suit, tie, doesn't mean nothing. And I'll talk about that on another one, too. Because, yeah, that's another story. I've been in that world where you're wearing suits and people dressed up don't have a clue. But I ain't even going to get to that, you know. Just some food for thought. Something for y'all to think about. Hope y'all like the hat. I might put it up on the website. Hopefully, y'all been checking out the website. You know, support the merch, support the brand. You know, the brand is based on the podcast and the talk show. But I made the merchandise so people can join the movement. Join the movement. You know, get with it. I think it's for a positive thing. Some things are funny, some things are serious. But nobody walks around serious all day and nobody walks around funny all day. So I think it's a good balance. But get with it. And on that note, I'm out.